Hello my beautiful besties. Welcome back to the channel. It's me Gigi and I watched a scary movie for you today and I thought I'd come and tell you about it. Actually let's keep it real. I watch scary movies for myself but because <laughs> I love them I just come and talk about them for you. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get it straight. I'm also sitting in the corner here like a naughty little girl although I wasn't naughty doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. So there you go. The cast of this movie, which was, uh, came out in 2016 and was directed by Andrew C. Aaron, and it stars um, several, lots and lots of people. We're only going to talk about a few. My favorite in the movie was Vionula Flanagan. Um, once you see the movie, you're going to know who she is. I feel like she was totally wasted in the role. She could have really played it up. Um, I don't think she was given enough to do, and I find that to be a total shame. Um, the main character is Jackie, and she is played by Julie Benz. There is Danielle Harris, who is her friend, Danielle. There's a little girl named Sarah, who is played by Belle Shouse. Shouse? I've never heard that name before. There's a cop played by Josh Stamberg and a couple of other really interesting characters. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the premise of the movie, tell you what I liked about it, and maybe a few, maybe a thing or two of what I didn't like, and give it a score. I don't want to spoil this movie for you too much. Um, basically, Haven ha Havenhurst is a, a building owned by the the older woman who was played. Uh, it doesn't say her name her her name from the movie, which is really weird. It's um, uh, let me find out because in the end that does end up mattering. Um, cast do do do. Sorry guys, she plays Eleanor, but her last name actually matters. And I'm gonna not say what it is because that's part of the twist of the movie, okay? So basically what's going on, there is Havenhurst and it's owned by Eleanor. She wants to give back to the community. And so what she does is make the the building into apartments which there are a shit ton of apartments in there and she rents them out to people who are coming up out of alcoholism or prostitution or drug abuse or whatever it is and are trying to live a more on the straight and narrow sort of life and in her mind the rules really matter and when you break them, you get an eviction notice. And it's more of than just an eviction from the house. Now, um, that's made clear right away. The What's going on in the house is not a secret throughout the entire movie. You know what's going on. So every time you see somebody imbibing or doing something they shouldn't be doing you're like oh shit here it comes and that i liked about it i actually really liked that um what i didn't like is it seemed they were a little loosey-goosey with how the rules were kept um like one person gets evicted immediately upon offense and another person doesn't get told anything until the next day. And so there seems to be some sort of inconsistency in the writing there that I didn't enjoy. But um, all in all, I found the movie to be quite pleasant. Um, it's not fantastic. It's good. Um, the little twist was fun and interesting, but wasn't taken as seriously as it should have been by the person it should have been taken seriously by and so it ended up being a fizzle moment and that was really a bummer for me too you need those twists and those turns to be gut punches and when that happens in a good movie 
then it really propels you further into the story. It makes you want more. But when it's just sort of a, ah, 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 then if you know what I mean by my weird sound effects, then you get what I'm saying. It's just not, it's not what you were hoping for. You really want those gut punches. That's why you watch movies like this to shock you and push you and create you to think in different ways and to make you feel emotions that um frankly we don't really feel that much anymore that sense of terror that sense of terror at being hunted um or in serious peril so and thank god i don't want to feel those things for real i i'm sure you don't either so that's what these movies are there to provide for you, this sense of relief after being terrified. And I didn't have that up and down feeling with this movie, so that's why it's not great. There we go. Totally worth an afternoon or evening watch. Grab some popcorn and some wine or beer or whatever is your choice. And um, maybe just a cup of coffee or tea and give it a little watch. It's it's totally worth it. It's on Netflix. And of course, this video is not sponsored by Netflix or the people who made Havenhurst. They have no idea who I am. And that's probably for the best. But if any of you guys happen to show up, I liked your movie. All right, let's go ahead and give it a quick rating. We've been chatting for a few minutes. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a two and a half. It's straight in the middle. It's not bad, it's not great, it's good. I would have wanted more. Honestly, they wasted some of these actors in roles that were meh. And had they really amped this up and given us that bloodthirstiness that people doing the things that are happening in this movie would have, I think I would have enjoyed it more. I think if it had gone more the hostile route and given Eleanor more to do she would uh, I feel like she was an eagle wanting to soar but her wings were clipped she did not and you could tell by what she did get to do that she's brilliant but she didn't get enough playground to play in and I would have wanted more for her all right guys I hope you give Havenhurst a try and if you do please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below and since you're scrolling down there why don't you click some of my buttons? It would make me super happy. And we will see you in a couple of days for another horror movie review. Um, and I did want to mention that the chances are super good. I am going to be going to get all my stuff from California this weekend. So do not look forward to anything this weekend. You're probably going to get one more video this week and that is going to be it. And maybe I do a little vlogging while we're driving out there and show you the process of me getting all my stuff and putting it into this room in a really super sped up fashion. <laughs> so we'll see if that happens. Let me know if you guys want that. We'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Bye.